Hi guys, welcome to a new video. So today we'll continue with the map creation process. And in this video we'll finally get to testing uh, the map. But first uh, we'll need to change some settings that we made uh, in the previous uh, previous videos. Uh, so first I will open with Control shift enter uh, the scenario properties. And here uh, we want to uh, choose no observers. Uh, also I want to check that you have all the info here. So map name. Uh, maybe suggested players and of course your name as author uh, Then we will click OK then with control enter we will open the player properties and here we want to uncheck the option to Enable the team change because of course that will be all set up with triggers and you don't want the player to uh, play with this for no reason so just disable it and uh, Of course now we can save everything with control S uh, you can also check maybe other things like info, but uh, you cannot really change anything here. So this should be all for this. So now let's move to the trigger editor with Ctrl T. And here as you can see I created a new folder with uh, two new triggers, animation and trigger, trigger starter. Uh, but for now we will ignore the first one, we will just take a look at the trigger starter. And as you can see there is no condition, we will just have actions and here we will be enabling all the triggers that we want. Uh, because of course if you watched the previous videos you know that I disabled every single trigger that we created. So right now uh, basically the whole trigger editor will do nothing because uh, nothing is active right now. Uh, so first we will just create a start trigger here. Uh, that you can find in the first option here, start trigger unknown trigger, so the second option. And here you will just click on it and choose the trigger that you want to start. So as you can see, we will basically start every single trigger that we have here in the base. So I will just copy it with Ctrl C and Ctrl V and then choose another one. So we have win, loss, then we have quest. Main quest one, main quest two. Uh, then we have all the all the neutral enemies that will be dropping some items. So that's definitely something that we want to uh, be active from the beginning. Also peasants that we can capture or uh, actually release them, and also bridge. But for example, the dialogue one trigger I will not enable it yet because we didn't even set it up yet. And that's something that will be probably that will be triggered by something else, or we'll figure it uh, figure that later. But uh, we are not working on dialogues and animations yet, so right now I'll just ignore it. So I will create another trigger here and start uh, morph trigger here, and then we have the mana regeneration, which I actually don't really remember what that was. But here we can see, yeah, that's actually the. Uh, the function to regenerate mana for our captain, which is a hero for our player number one, which will be the actual player. Uh, I believe we gave him some abilities, we can actually check that in the tech tree here, because I don't remember that exactly. Uh, so yeah, as you can see we gave him the ability to summon cave bears. As you can see he can summon three cave bears for 30 seconds, so that's actually quite powerful. So now let's get back here into the trigger editor and as you can see I uh, I used all those triggers that we had in the base and units more folders. Uh, I'm sorry for that uh, announce, I will turn my phone off. Uh, so we basically used all those triggers that we had here and now we only have uh, army triggers left here. So I will just create a one second delay here, you don't really need to do this but sometimes if you have a uh, lot of those army triggers, it can cause the game to drop, so maybe it's uh, just a better idea to just delay it by one second, so it's uh, it, it's not happening all at the same time. Uh, yeah, basically this will happen immediately and then uh, the game will have some time to uh, recover, let's say, and then it will start all the other triggers. So I always like to place this one second delay here, it doesn't change the function, so it should be okay. And now I will choose all the defense triggers that we have here, so of course it will be quite a lot, but it is necessary. If you want to make it like this, 
you could of course uh, potentially just uh, skip this whole trigger and enable all the triggers from the beginning and it would be totally fine if you just want the mission to be playable but uh, if we are going to be uh, creating some of those animations then it's really good idea to just make it like this so nothing is happening during the animation uh, because that might cause some problems later eh? so if you are no, uh, not really wanting to create any animations you can just skip this step right away maybe enable all the triggers and uh, continue it like that but if you want to make some animations or dialogues or other things then I would definitely encourage you to uh, set it up like this because then you can easily control every single trigger uh, and control if you want it to be enabled or disabled uh, here I yeah we have mages here mage 1 mage 2 yeah there is that annoying sound uh, every single time you copy something but uh, it shouldn't be too big of a problem because we will be finished really soon. We have last two triggers here and as you can see that's the last defense. So it should be okay like this. I will make one more just to check everything. Uh, the only triggers that are not here right now are the triggers for armies and attacks. But if you remember, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, we actually already made sure that those triggers will be started because we have uh, those triggers that are starting the armies and attacks we have them for both our enemies and then in uh, base folder in bridge trigger uh, here we have uh, the start trigger for those sta army starter triggers so as you can see everything will start automatically uh, because we have this bridge trigger started in the trigger starter from the beginning yeah, it's a little bit complicated but I hope it makes sense yeah, it will just start the trigger here and then we have the condition so once uh, actually here is a mistake I believe because there should be player number one uh, oh no, actually no, it was uh, no, it was right because uh, it will trigger if there are no more units for player number three. I thought that we made a condition that uh, that will be activated if uh, the player one actually has uh, at least one unit there, but we actually made it the other way, so it will trigger once uh, all the uh, all the defending units here of the player number three are dead. So that's actually even better. Uh, so yeah, right now I will just save it. Uh, there is one more thing in the scenario properties and that's visibility. Of course, once you release the map for others to play it, you probably want to hide the terrain. Yeah, it will make it uh, better probably. But right now when I'm testing everything, I definitely want to test it with uh, always visible. So we can actually see what's happening on the map and uh, maybe see some problems. Yeah, maybe some units of our enemies might get stuck somewhere or something so I definitely want to see it even though uh, of course in the end we want to hide everything uh, so let's save it one more time and now I will finally go into the game uh, I will I will open the folder here we have the Alliance of Nature which is the name of the map that I chose as you can see you cannot change anything here so the only thing that the player that will be playing it can change is the game speed but I will leave it in the middle right now and uh, even though the teams here seems uh, wrong we actually made everything right in the trigger editor so we don't need to worry about it so let's start the mission right now all the animations and everything should be disabled so we should get in the game right away as you can see the environment looks pretty okay so let's start with some peasants and uh, let's just basically play the mission as you can see here is the first thing that i forgot about uh, we forgot to name the quest so that's something that we will need to change we can also check it here as you can see uh, here we have quests and the name is unchanged or I just wrote quest there we definitely need to uh, change that or I mean you can leave it like this but I want to name the quest and then we have uh, we have those uh, this description yeah what are the objectives here 
uh, which are right, so I will leave it like this. But actually it's just a good idea to immediately alt tap to your trigger editor and uh, immediately change what you found. Yeah, you don't need to even exit the game or anything. Uh, you can e also even save the change that you made here. But if you ch if I change it right now and save it, then I won't be able to reload any saves that I made or uh, if I restart it, it will restart in the new version. So usually what you want to do is just find those mistakes, go back to the editor. Uh, then of course I will find it here, uh, rewrite it. And after I am finished here, I will not save the changes that I made in the editor, but first I will finish the game in the Armies of Exigo. And after I'm finished and I made all the changes, then I will exit the game and then save it. So I can potentially maybe reload something if I need to. Uh, otherwise it will just drop the game, of course, because you rewrote the game that you are playing right now. So here we have the text with the quest, so let's just write something here. I think we can name the quest uh, the same as we named the map. So it will be the Alliance of Nature. And let's just click OK. Yeah, so this will be everything that we needed to change right now. Of course I need to click OK here, otherwise it will just close the editor, uh, the trigger editor and it will not change anything. So I will click OK. And now I will not uh, do anything more, I will just go back to Armies of Exigo and continue playing. Uh, of course, since I know how I created the map, uh, then I also know that uh, they won't start even making any soldiers or attacking me until I destroy uh, this. So if I wanted to play with maximum effectivity, I would just create 200 population of units and then attack them. But of course, uh, as a new player, you wouldn't know that. So let's just play it a uh, little bit more casually. Yeah, so we will just create like 50 or 80 population and then we will attack them. And also we can go here and take those three peasants uh, actually we can try that and see if we are able yes, to do that uh, just with our starting army. So as you can see we have one elf sentinel, uh, which is pretty strong. Then we have just a normal swordsman and then we have the captain, which is also pretty strong. And he, uh, he has the ability to summon those three cave bears, which will be extremely powerful. And they will be probably able to easily destroy this uh, just on their own. And of course I will save the HP for my captain and other units. I am here, my lord. So since what we have two peasants on wood sir? here, I don't need to worry about that for here. now. So let's just create barracks. As you can see, it's not exactly easy to build here, but it's probably mainly also because of this, uh, this object here. Uh, outside of that, I think it's pretty okay. So let's just leave it like this. And let's build the barracks here, so we can also upgrade to stone keep and potentially create some advanced units. Uh, we can also make those elf sentinels. As you can see, it's actually pretty cheap. Maybe I forgot to change it or something, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely changed. But I still think it should be more expensive, because as you can see, the elf sentinel is really strong. But at least we'll have some uh, some nice unit to spam. That's yes, always nice to have, uh, mainly if it's a ranged unit, of course. And if you remember correctly, uh, the cave bears should be summoned for 30 seconds, so we should have enough time to destroy our enemies. As you can see, we actually changed the stats of those cave bears. Uh, in default, they have like 1600 HP and 80 damage, so right now they are definitely a little bit weaker, but uh, yeah, they are still uh, pretty, pretty powerful, so... It should be no problem for us to kill the Garen, and then if we set up everything correctly, the peasants, all three peasants should join us, as you can see that worked. Uh, yeah, and probably we will want to add a dialogue here, or something like that those peasants thank us and they will join us or something. So that's also good to remember, but as I mentioned, we are not really setting up uh, dialogues yet. Uh, right now I maybe made a little bit uh, too many of those peasants, because I kind of forget about those three. So we have like three more peasants that we need actually. And since the gem mine is so close to our town hall, uh, we can't even put the third one here. It would be just totally useless. Uh, and we also don't need more wood right now, so let's just... Uh, let's just... Actually we can maybe take like two more peasants to wood. It will no... it won't be a problem. At least we'll save up some resources. 
and we won't need to worry about wood later. And we also want to build some farms, at least like three of them, because after we upgrade to stone keep, we will probably start building more buildings and then we will also make more soldiers. Uh, and we can finally also start making some elf sentinels and build uh, second barracks. Excellent idea. Uh, also, as you can Upgrade see, we probably didn't put any defensive uh, groups here because those units didn't even move. But if we look uh, in the enemy towns, you can see that uh, they are like all looking towards the center of this uh, group of we units. That means mode. that uh, they are just defending this area, of course. So as you can see, all of them are just uh, moved a little bit, which means the defensive groups are actually working. Same applies to this enemy. Uh, even though I have the revealed map set up, I cannot uh, transfer to underground uh, until I enter it at least with one unit. So right now we cannot look there, but we'll definitely go there because we want to capture the expansion there. We'll also try to kill all the neutral enemies here that will be dropping some items for us. And uh, yeah, right now I will just return with my soldiers. Uh, also, we want to make a temple so we can finally upgrade to castle and also make some priests. And we can also make a workshop for some catapults. And we can also upgrade to advanced barracks so we don't need to build more buildings right now. Uh, since we cannot upgrade to castle yet because of that uh, unfinished temple, I can use this time to upgrade my improved farming, so we don't need to build so many farms. And we can also focus on some of those upgrades. Uh, but keep in mind that uh, those upgrades for elf rangers will not apply to our units, elf sentinels. So this is actually just for valkyries and this is just for peasants, so it's quite useless for us right now. So we will probably skip those upgrades. Our uh, of course, our captain uh, should probably survive because otherwise we will lose this powerful ability. So I will try to keep him in the back, uh, always heal him with my with my priests. And yeah, since the temple is finally finished, we can also upgrade to castle. And, I mean, we don't have too much resources, but we can definitely make, like, two catapults, uh, potentially upgrade Resurrection and make two Priests. And since we don't have any gems, let's just make two Swordsmen, because, I mean, I could just spam Elf Sentinels, but I also want to make at least some Swordsmen to hold yes, enemies away from my units. Yes, because even though they have like almost twice as much HP as Swordsmen, uh, they are missing that one armor. Also, Swordsmen can be upgraded here, so then you will have like four armor or something, so they will be even more tanky. And uh, of course, also they are much cheaper, so if they die, it's not uh, such a big loss. So after we finish the castle, I will probably not need to make anything more in our main building. So we will just we will just build a circle of ancients and obsidian tower. Of course, we probably disabled some of those abilities. Maybe uh, I actually don't know what we disabled. We will need to check that. But uh, we will definitely need those knights because that will be the main unit that will be in front of our elf sentinels. And, I mean, right now we don't have too many gems, so maybe let's not even make any mages, but once we expand to that underground or even destroy one of our enemies, we will definitely also want to uh, want to create some mages, because, of course, decrees are really powerful, and that will help us a lot. I mean, right now it's uh, maybe it seems ki like a kind of boring mission, because nothing is happening, yeah, no one will attack you, no one is creating any units and you can just spam the full population here. But as I mentioned, if you played for the first time, you will have no idea what is against you. And you will probably not just sit here. Maybe you will start building some towers or even Peace attack. 
so right now I will just take my soldiers, uh, I'll just not waste any swordsmen or catapults, I will just take those, uh, those units, so I have something stronger, some ranged units and healers, and I will clear those wolves and pick up those healing potions so we can use them later. So let's just make some orders here, like this, then we will attack move towards the bridge and then we will stop here. I could also build some towers here and then lurk them out of there, but I mean there is only 12 units so we can easily destroy them even without any problems. Yeah, right now he's killing my priests, but uh, I mean those wolves won't be strong enough to kill my priest on their own, of course. Peace must be restored. As you can see, those elf sentinels are gaining speed uh, with their levels, which is also really good, because then you can have really mobile army, yeah, they can get even faster than the knights, so then it will get really, really strong. But of course, then they will run away from your priests, catapults and, uh, and mages, so you need to be really careful after that. I mean, I could use the bless ability on my units, but I really don't want to waste the mana right now, because uh, we don't need it. Uh, we don't need to use it right now, so it would just be a waste of mana, which is not really good. I mean, we have enough resources here, so we don't need to worry about that, but we are still missing lots of gems. Those healing potions might be also really useful. Unfortunately, the captain is not listed as a hero, so you cannot see him in the top left corner. Uh, that would be really useful to at least keep uh, track on his HP, but hopefully we will be able to keep him alive. So right now we might also try to make some of those knights, at least two of them, and also some more swordsmen, since we don't have more uh, more gems right now. Yeah, and I will also make one more priest. Uh, yeah, we forgot to make more upgrades and also we can use this time to build some more uh, some more farms because as I mentioned we have lots of gold and wood and uh, we don't need gems for farms so this is the best way we can spend the resources right now. Of course later we can also build some towers maybe in front of enemy towns or something but right now let's keep it like this. Uh, there is this stealth unit and also there will be more, more stealth units in the beast town. So unless I want to build towers right here and then lurk him out, then I will need to make a phoenix. But I'm actually not sure how we'll play this. Maybe we'll go for that expansion first Building or I might just Lord. destroy this uh, enemy. I hope that uh, the beast will be a little bit weaker and easier to defeat. And then we can of course take the expansion in his town. But this, this would be even uh, even more useful for us because that will be taking gems from all those goods. Uh, while here I would just be using that one gems mine. And since gems are the main problem, uh, maybe it will be even better idea to attack the Empire Town first. But I mean this is really strong. Yeah, this is probably more than full population of units, so it will be it won't be too easy to conquer that. So now let's make more sentinels. Of course, as I mentioned, that will be the main offensive power of our army. And uh, I mean, they cost quite lots of gems, but it's not so expensive as like mages or knights or priests. So it's uh, at least affordable for us. And uh, yeah, right now I don't think there is anything more we can do on this small island, because we already took those priests and those two healing potions. So right now we'll just need to wait. There is probably nothing more we can do. Maybe I could create one more catapult, but I will rather spend those resources on more elf sentinels. And as I mentioned, we'll make like 80 population, which we have right now, and then we will attack. So let's just try it right away. I won't even save it right now, of course, it might be useful, but uh, let's just try it like this. So let's just create some groups. Maybe let's make a separate group for our catapults. I will just create a super group, another super group just for those catapults. And actually, let's maybe not use them right away. Maybe we can create even more super groups. Uh, let's just fight it without those catapults because we probably won't need them and we will just waste uh, some of our units probably. 
Uh, as you can see, one knight died there, but uh, since we have resurrection uh, available, uh, we should be okay and we should be able to resurrect our knight. Oh, actually we ran out of mana, so... Yeah, but it was still okay. I managed to resurrect my units, so now I will only uh, heal to full and then we should be okay. So let's move our rally point here. Uh, we also have some new units, so let's add them to our groups. And right now the enemy should start making some soldiers. So as you can see here he has first small army that will be attacking us and here is another one. And also he's probably making some Valkyries that will be attacking us. I don't know if it is this. This is quite a huge army, so hopefully that's not it. But maybe it's like right here or something. Because I believe we made two armies. Yeah, actually here. Here is grouping up some Valkyries that will attack us later. Which will be actually quite dangerous because he will come from the bottom or like the right side. So we'll attack our, uh, our town and avoid our army. Uh, so let's make a few more sentinels and uh, also let's start moving. So I will change the group of my catapults to four and priests to three and then I will have full group of elf sentinels as group number two. And now yeah, we cannot really uh, kill this because we cannot reveal invisible units yet. So let's just move here and destroy those goblins and hopefully get the item from Goblin Shaman. I don't really remember what that was, but hopefully it will help us a little bit. Uh, we could also make a few more farms, but it's not really needed yet. Also those upgrades cost gems, so we won't make them because we don't need them. So let's just make this. And uh, let's make that Elven Century, so we can make a Phoenix later. Also, we have some of those new units here, so let's add them to group number one, and let's finally move forward. We can also use the Bless ability, and just kill them really quickly. Yeah, I don't have the prayer uh, researched yet, but it should be no problem. Hopefully I don't kill my units with catapults. And as you can see, we received the Water Amulet, which can actually summon some Varangis. So that will also help us in the battle. Uh, I don't think there are more enemies here. There is one white wolf. I don't know if he drops something, but uh, we will check that later. Right now I will try to push uh, towards the north here and uh, try to expand. Seems like there are some wolves uh, that attacked me, so we'll need to be a little bit more careful. But actually we might try to kill some of those spiders with our catapults. Actually, it seems like they might try to attack me, which will be a nice lurking option. Yeah, but it seems like they will just go back. So we will need to go there on our own, but I would like to heal my knights first, of course. Uh, we managed to save some gems, so let's make more elf sentinels. I mean, right now it's just about spamming one unit, but... Uh, I mean, it's really useful because we can also use elf sentinels against uh, those Valkyries. Which will be attacking me, so I definitely want to have some uh, some ranged units that will defend me against the flying units as well. Uh, or at least hope that I made it possible to attack. Oh, we actually cannot attack those flying units. That's actually one more thing that I probably forgot to change. So let's go back to the editor and uh, and adjust that because that would be really bad. So we are looking for the elf sentinel here. So let's check it, Elf Sentinel, and here in the, yeah, in break media, we need to click on ground and air, uh, yeah, you need to check both of them and then click enter, so you can attack both ground units and air units. Uh, this is really important because, uh, I mean, it's ranged units that cannot attack air units, so it would be totally, uh, it would make no sense, so let's just change it like this, and uh, then go back to the game. So of course right now I will probably lose because I don't have anything against those flying units. But uh, once we actually play the game, it will be already fixed. So this is the reason why we are testing everything. So we can fix it and make it better. 
So let's just make few more Elf Sentinels. Of course, if you use those knights, I will just resurrect them. Uh, not a big deal. Also, I have some more melee units stuck here, so let's bring them back. And now, of course, let's resurrect that knight. I probably won't resurrect some of those other units, but uh, those knights are pretty expensive and strong. So I definitely want to resurrect them. And we just cleared this main area, so let's pick up some of those healing runes for our knights and also kill this giant spider. Uh, I believe he will drop an item, I don't know what item that will be, but... Yeah, as you can see this is uh, a web amulet which will summon some spiders as well. So that's also really useful. And I believe there was one more healing rune here, so right now we are basically fully healed. Uh, now I will continue into the underground and of course Research we want complete, to also clear this to pick up all of those resources. Uh, the only danger here is the cave fisher, but we should be able to defeat him. And after that we will also go here and expand. Uh, and for that I will need what a peasant and since we have 11 here what I can just Lord. take him right away. And don't even need to worry about it. But we can also start creating more peasants in our castle and start sending them there. Yeah, and as you can see, the enemy is actually attacking me right now. So let's try to stop him uh, with some of our elf sentinels. I will also try to finally create that phoenix and some more units. I actually didn't expect him to attack so soon, but hopefully we'll be able to defend ourselves. He actually killed that peasant, but uh, that won't really matter. As you can see, those Elf Sentinels are pretty strong, but since he has some trolls here, I probably won't be able to defend myself just with this un those units. But we are already coming, uh, and yeah, this should be okay. I will just need to save my Phoenix. Yeah, those peasants will die, but doesn't really matter. And yeah, we are already back, so we managed to keep ourselves alive. Uh, of course, the other enemy will also probably attack pretty soon, but yeah, we probably don't need to worry about this flying army yet. We just need to worry about the rest. And we actually managed to defend ourselves just with those few sentinels that we made here, so we can go, uh, go back immediately and continue. Uh, actually, here we have some sentinels in group number one, so let's just move them to group number three. And let's replace them with some new swordsmen. Uh, so yeah, let's go back and uh, clear the underground. Of course, if this attacks me, then I will probably see it and uh, I will just reach read once again. Uh, actually, let me check in the editor if we have the group location large enough. So, yeah, I mean, this is probably large enough to cover all the units that are already standing there. If it was too small, then I would need to re increase it, but right now it seems pretty okay. And of course, eventually when he attacks, I will also see if some units were left there or if everything attacked. Oh uh, yeah, we can also clear this because we already have the Phoenix. So let's just bring him here. I will make it uh, group number 10 and just create a super group number 2 with uh, this Phoenix. As you can see here is the stealth unit, so we will need the phoenix just for that. Or I mean we could just blindly kill him with catapults, but <laughs> that would not be the best thing to do. And since we have... Uh, uh, or we can just use a swordsman here and potentially recruit some of those units, but they are super expensive on gems, so let's just wait with that for a while. Right now we don't have uh, that kind of done? resources. Here, what needs to be done? We can also finally make uh, that obsidian tower and also Valkyrie beacon. I mean, that's no problem for us. Then we can go to the underground. And eventually we'll also clear all those spiders. But first I want to uh, get all those resources and also get the expansion here. And we'll also get some rings here, which will ba buff my captain, of course. Or I can use it on any unit, but it will be done. Uh, the captain is probably stronger than any any knight or anything. Honor is on our I live to serve. 
I mean, the, the only disadvantage is that he is kind of slow, but I mean, we are comparing him to those uh, elf sentinels with increased speed and of course knights. As you can see, those sent sentinels are actually even faster than knights, so you cannot really compare other units to this. That would be really unfair. So let's make more peasants. Uh, maybe let's start grouping some units here in our town. We can also repair our elven century. And yeah, let's make some more priests for now. After that, I will finally start making some mages as well. Uh, yeah, and let's just clear everything here. It should die really quickly because we have all of those ranged units. So let's bless them as well. And hopefully I will create some mages soon enough, because otherwise we will have nothing to fight against those flying units, of course. Uh, so let's just pick up everything like this. So we also got uh, healing dust, which will heal an AoE heal uh, for 300 for all our units. And since we received low resources, we can also start making those mages and uh, research the decree. And also maybe a prayer prayer upgrade here. Uh, yeah, we'll probably also need to make some of those Valkyries against enemy Valkyries, but if we have enough mages we can just de destroy all of those flying units with decrease and uh, basic attacks of those mages, but right now of course we don't have that yet, so we will need to work on this. Of course, knights are also getting stronger over time because we are upgrading them, even though right now we only have those last upgrades for our melee units left, uh, which cost gems, so it will take us some time uh, before we can do that. Uh, actually, the beast is attacking again before the empire attacked even the first time. So, let's see. Uh, I mean, right now I don't have basically anything at my home, so probably won't be able to defend myself. We will also kill some of those peasants, but I'm already returning home, so let's see if we can defend ourselves. Uh, I don't have the decree, uh, decree researched yet, so <laughs> those mages will be totally useless here. The only thing I can do is just use all of my up, all of my buffs and try to heal myself, which will probably not work. So I will need to retreat, retreat with my army. I mean, if I had those decrees, I might be able to defend myself, but like this, it's totally without any chance. So hopefully he won't destroy too many buildings before I come back, but as I mentioned, those units are so fast that we should be able to get home on time. Unfortunately, we lost those gems for our mages, but uh, again, shouldn't be too big of a problem. We can find also create that expansion here that I was talking about. We we'll need three more peasants, but we can create them here. Yeah, he also killed some peasants on wood here, but as I mentioned in the beginning, we used lots of peasants on wood, so we don't need to worry about it later. So this is also okay. Yeah, we can also heal our phoenix here and spot some of those last striders. And we should be okay. As you can see, the, uh, the Empire is finally attacking. Uh, his army will be really divided into sections. As you can see, knights are uh, really fast, catapults are really slow, so we'll have a ton of time. But as you can see, he's also killing my slow units, because I have some priests and also catapults here. So let's just remove them from the supergroup for now. Move my priests back and uh, then we can kill them. Yeah, they are killing my captain right now, so I need to take care of him. We can also use some of those rings on him, so he's even stronger. He will be actually able to use uh, the ability two times in a row right now. We can also use the prayer ability, also a blessing. And if we use something, we can just easily resurrect our units. Maybe if this knight dies or something, but of course I won't use Resurrection just for our swordsmen. Actually, let's move our captain back. He has quite a lot of catapults there, but it should be okay. So let's resurrect some of those knights. And yeah, it should be okay like this. 
So we managed to defend both our enemies. So let's just heal a little bit for a while. And uh, then we will probably finally attack on the yellow enemy. I will also bring my phoenix here. Uh, since we still don't have any gems, I will probably not make uh, anything in that mercenary camp, maybe towards the end of the game. But right now it would be just a waste of resources. So let's repair some of those buildings, of course. If he attacked me again, I want to be able to survive for a while. We apparently didn't kill any villagers on gold fields and gem mine, so this is okay. And uh, we can also finally make some of those mages. And we'll also need more priests, but we will need to wait for that a little bit. Yeah, we finally have the expansion here, so we can definitely start getting some more gems from here. And once we conquer one of the enemy towns, we will get even more resources from there. Oh, it actually seems like the Valkyries are attacking me right now. But I don't have anything against flying units, so I will need to wait for my for my mages. Actually, this is really stupid. I should be creating my mages in advanced barracks. Yeah, but I mean, this is just a bug that I made by mistake. Yeah, we already fixed it in the editor, so this won't happen in the future, of course. You will just kill everything with your elf sentinels. Right now I can fight against those Valkyries only with mages and uh, my own Valkyries, which I don't have yet. So, this is really bad, of course, he just took all of my economic. That will slow me down uh, really a lot. Actually, yeah, I probably have a rally point on the other side of the map, so my mages are going away. As you can see, he's also attacking here. Uh, so yeah, I probably won't even finish this game, it would be just a waste of time because uh, the yellow enemy also have lots of flying units that I wouldn't be able to kill. So yeah, let's just leave it like this. I think we tested all we needed, maybe there are some more bugs, but I think we found all the most important things. So now we'll, we'll just exit the game. Uh, I mean, you don't need to save anything because once you make, once you save those changes in the editor, you won't be able to load it anyways. So it would be just a waste. So let's go back to the editor. Of course, we already already fixed everything. So now I'll just press Control S to save all the changes we made. And uh, of course, now we could just go back to testing, but. Uh, First of all, this will be everything for this video because we already it's already quite long. And second of all, before we start testing again, I will definitely um, definitely show you those animations and dialogues. Uh, I will probably just show you how to make them, but uh, we will not actually record any audio for that or something. I will just tell you or show you how to do it, but we will make it really simple here. Just uh, I will just cover that in the start of the next video, uh, then we will make the final testing hopefully and then it will be probably over. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and next time we will hopefully finish everything. So yeah, take care guys.